Oh, hi there, big boys. Welcome to Curse Naga or something similar. This is sort of a brawler fighting game, I guess. But first person reminds me of like Dark Messiah, uh, of that whatever that game is. I don't know the rest of the title. Uh, yeah, I'll give. It, I've already done the tutorial. I've done a level two. We'll go straight to the marketplace raid. It's weird this game. It's just it's got weird. I don't know. You'll see. Right. F firstly, performance isn't great. Right. I'm getting like barely 60 FPS. And I've got very good graphics cards. I don't know what's going on. And the game looks sort of like like there's no anti-aliasing. I don't know. It's a bit weird, but not huge. Not a huge thing because all about the gameplay here. Daddy huge one one. And um, yeah. See, you can left click to attack people like that. Do do. I'm just gonna show you it slowly. But you can sort of block it. It looks very cool. You can block like that as well. You can throw like that, and it's pretty cool. I like the blood effects. You can kick with E, and it does some serious um, knockback. Uh, what else is there? I think that is pretty much it, yeah. Uh, but you can also, I guess, reflect people. I'll show you. Ah, look. And it's, I mean, it's, it's fun, I suppose. But, um, it's just, this is basically the entire game from the looks of it. It's just sort of fighting random men over and over again. Um, which isn't necessarily bad. It's just it could do with a bit of variety. It's a shame, because actually, I, I played this game for a bit and I'm already bored of it. But, um,. It's, it is, could be, if it had better performance and, and it's just sort of story and platforming or something maybe, puzzles, something like that, it would be actually a really cool game. And look at the destruct, like, the genu genuinely the combat is not bad at all. It's not particularly hard, I suppose, but it is just fun. I seem pretty tall, what the hell? And look, you see my performance is just not very good at all, is it? Don't know, but um... That's yeah. This game is made of Unity. Not necessarily a bad thing. My game, Battle Blade, was made of Unity. Go buy it on Steam. Battle Blade. Uh, but you know, you can sort of. It's got the. It's got the. Uh, it's got the Unity vibe about it. Uh, especially since it's 3D. Uh, but that's fine. Kill you. Mm. Oh, okay. The AI is not bad then either. Ooh. My crouch. My. There you go. Uh, and I think you can sprint. No, you can't. Okay. But yeah, this is it. You can jump very high. Uh, I mean, I guess it's sort of like a badass simulator, I guess. Oh, oh yeah, that's one thing I had a complaint about. Is that if you spam left click, you see, you don't actually attack. You sort of have, to, you have like a little, like, sort of get ready stance. So I guess it makes sense you can't spam the button. But at the same time, it just feels a little bit weird. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, it's that. Oh, okay. Ooh. Come on, come at me. Amazing. Away. Can I beat the level? So it looks like there's five levels, or five environments, and then you sort of just repeat them over and over again. Which is weird. Oh, I know you could do that. Whoa, how do I do that? That was fun. Yeah, I see. Oh, slow motion. See, it's just, it's, it's quite a fun little game, it's just, I don't know, I just wish there was more to it. It's just too simple. But yeah, it's not bad. I think a multiplayer function would have been fun. I don't know how it would have worked, it would have given people motion sickness, but yeah. Battle between, see, see my point, it's again, it's the same thing again now, except we're just in like a hall, hall? Uh, sort of green area. Not a bad thing, well, I don't know. It's, it's a thing. Kill you. Ooh, that's good. See, it is reasonably fun, it really is. It just... I just wish there was more to it, because I genuinely think this game would be really good. I genuinely think this game could be really good. Uh, I don't think they're going to do any updates or anything. They haven't seemed to have done. But like, recall, maybe they did. Oh, that's the new... Mi there you go, stuff like that. It's like, destroying... Like, something like... Oh, see, performance is so dodgy. Like, you destroy that, and they come crushing down and kill people. Like... Look, there you go. Oh, they explode as well. There you go. That was good. More stuff like that, please. Oh, careful. Grrr. I'm gonna kill you. Grrr, you're dying. Except you're not. Pew. And, oh. Oh, okay. Alright. Aha, that was cool. Let's go back into my, like, uh, hands. Pew. There we go. Maybe some, like, decapitation, if that's how you say it, would be nice. Just, I don't know, it seems to be running at, it says it's 71 or 72 FPS, but it doesn't look like it. 
I don't know though. Then again, looking at my um other monitor, it looks really smooth. So maybe it's something to do with double buffering. Maybe V-Sync's on. Because that's running at 60 and this is running at 144. Obviously it's not actually running at 144 from the looks of it. So maybe that's what it is. Not sure. But then time, then it looks really smooth the next time it looks really... I don't know. Either way, that's that. Where's oh, the last guy? There you are. Grr, come over here, I'm going to kill you. There's no achievements either, which I'm not, it's just sort of annoy me because, I mean, you can at least, like, I don't know, you can understand if there are at least achievements sort of, you know, put your progress in the game or something. You know, at least there's something sort of encouraging you other than just fun. Well, I guess games are for fun. But you know what I mean. It'd be nice if there were achievements. Oh, that was cool. I just wish there was, like, a story. Like, even if it was just a terrible, st like, I don't know, like a proper story or, like, actual level design you know like I don't know it's just, this game could have been a lot bigger than it was I mean they could easily use this sort of framework to develop a game much bigger um right what was I going to show you if I, is that going to quit the game or is that alright good it only went to the main menu that's what I wanted right so that's a cool menu by the way pretty cool see look you see there's no sort of graphic settings or anything like that um yeah I don't know you level select see it's like Makes me think they was missing half a game because, like, do you really want to do the arena battle but like with more like, again? But I I just don't know. It's just this game could have done with some more stuff in it, but it certainly isn't bad at all. It certainly isn't bad at all. I'll do one more level and I'll turn it off because, as I say, you've got the idea of the game by now. Um, but yeah, it's it's not bad at all. It is not bad. I just wish there was more to it, but it's still fun. Grrr. Yeah, and it's 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 def I like the the sort of combat system. It's just it's all quite nicely done and Oh that was how'd I do that? Oh that's a cool sword. What's that? Okay. Come on. There we go. I just realized I could kick them, couldn't I? But you Drake. Oh. Okay. But you know okay, developers, I'm gonna have to tell you this little secret here. Make the game object of the player Always be at the front of the camera using a layer mask. There you go. Fun fact for you there. That will solve that problem. Now, let's go over here. Do 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 Can I kick? There we go. Lovely. It's a very satisfying sound with a kick. I thought this sword was cool, but it seems pretty terrible. I don't know if they're all the same anyway. Oh, that was cool. Ah, come on. Uh oh. There we go. Then we'll get this guy over here. Do 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 Oh, there he is. I feel like this should have sort of slightly bigger detection area or something. Now, how did I do that? I don't. Okay. Very cool. So that's yeah, that's this game. What's the last level of the? This is literally the every single environment of the game you've now seen. Uh, but yeah. I don't remember how much. It, that's just a cool looking area of the water. Oh, you die if you go in it. Okay, well, that makes sense. But yeah, I just wish there was more to it. It's because they, like, I don't know, just some sort of story or some score attack, some sort of sound, just anything other than just randomly. Oh, there's another environment I forgot. Uh, so there you go. You get six environments, and then you know triple the levels, even though they're all gonna be the same, for a relatively low price. If I recall, don't actually know exactly. You know what? I'll quickly check just to make all of you feel a bit better. Um. Let's have a look. The game costs seven pounds forty. Ooh, okay. Mm, I wouldn't. I uh, yeah. I wouldn't say seven pounds forty six. Yeah, that's a bit much. That oh yeah, that's on sale by the way. Normally it's eight pounds ninety nine. So I just realised. Yeah, that's not great. Not great price. I'd definitely price it lower than that because there's just, there's not enough really. I mean the gameplay's good, but there's not enough content. There's not enough. Mm. But yeah, that is this game, Curse Naga. Thanks for watching, big boys. It's an important time, and bye.